Hey everyone, so we are finally back to the news videos that said I don't have a camera on me today just because middle of the move, some stuff's already been packed up. We're just doing the vocal recording for today, but that's okay. We're not doing a lot of news. It was a pretty slow week, but still some pretty interesting things popped off. For instance, Studio Series Swoop is finally showing up at Mass Retail. Here you can see him alongside his wave mate Springer. Both of them look incredible. If I had to pick one over the other, though, it, it has to be Swoop. Cannot wait for him. My favorite Dinobot. I am so excited to find him. Springer 2, though. I would love to have that Springer in my collection. Here's the thing that I wasn't expecting. Um, Studio Series 49 Bumblebee is showing back up at Mass Retail. This is first movie Bumblebee Studio Series. A really good figure, this one. I actually saw this at my local Target. I didn't pick it up just because I don't need that Bumblebee back in my life, but it is a good figure if you're at all interested. And I love this. Target suddenly just pulling out all these cool older figures and sending them back out. I know when I was talking about um, the Power of the Primes Optimus, I was thinking it has to just be excess stock. The fact that it's excess stock of figures that people genuinely want because we've also started to find the Studio Series Grimlock again. That makes me think that, no, maybe Hasbro is just rerunning some of these really cool and really expensive figures. Kind of like how they had the, uh, the Archive collection for the Black Series stuff. We've also started to find Lockdown in the Star Raiders collection? I forget the name of this subline. But yep, this is going to be your Legacy United Lockdown. This is one I'm interested in. We're getting in-hand images of the core class Bumblebee movie, Starscream. I like how he looks. I think for a Legends class version of this design, it's come out pretty well. I'm going to pick this up. I'm hoping we're going to get Thundercracker Skywarp. We might not. Core class is coming to an end. But hey, I will pick this up if I see it. This is a little bit interesting. So, these are those Hot Wheels Transformers that we reported on a few weeks ago. They're all out. People are finding them. Not for me, but if you're a Hot Wheels person or just like vehicle modes, this is a good way to get a couple of nice little cars. Speaking of nice cars, they're doing an Ecto-1, Jada Toys is, and they're doing it in Autobot colors because apparently Transformers, Ghostbusters, they're just connected to the hip nowadays. I dig it. Now, this is a bit weird. So, this is the Energon Matrix Optimus Prime. It's a gimmick toy, and he's just starts showing up around Target. Um, it looks like the idea is he doesn't transform. Instead, you, like, switch out the head, and you have Orion Pax with a normal chest, or you have Optimus with the Matrix. It's interesting. I might check it out if I ever see it, but I've not seen it in my area yet. This, though, can't wait for these guys. From Earthspark, these are going to be the Deluxe Class, Jawbreaker, and Aftermath. Aftermath in particular looks so good. I can't wait to find that figure. I just love that purple on him. Now let's talk about some third party. Bit of a slow week, but there was some cool stuff. DNA Design. We're going to be getting their Scourge upgrade kit. Studio Series Scourge, I already really like. I think it's a great figure with a great look, even if it isn't accurate. But you can get this DNA design upgrade kit. It's going to make him look exactly as he did in the movie. I'll be honest. I prefer the toy head. I know the DNA design head is the accurate head. But there's something about the chain metal look that I really, really like. This is when I'm amazed it took this long. We are getting an upgrade kit for Legacy Evolution Nova Prime. It's taking years, but it does make that figure look so much better. And then from New Age, we're getting a Shattered Glass Blaster. Looks okay. I don't really care for Shattered Glass Blaster. I don't like the, uh, the colors. But I am excited for their Marvel version of Blaster. If I get a New Age Blaster, I'm going to get this Marvel version because I love Marvel Blaster. Finally, a couple of official reveals this week. Um, these are going to be keychains, blind bagged, and they're all toy accurate. It's kind of a weird lineup that they're going for here. So, Optimus, Bumblebee, Hot Rod, those three make sense. Swerve. Okay. Blaster, sure. Megatron, Astrotrain, Soundwave, Starscream, Devastator, Laserbeak. So, most of these are very safe picks. 
even Blaster, even though Blaster's B-list, he's a B-list that they uh, they tap a lot for these kind of spin-off things. Swerve is the odd one out here. I don't know if I would pick something like this up, but I do think it's kind of cool. This is really, really weird to me. There are Burger King Happy Meal toys for Transformers 1 that just haven't been advertised, or at least they haven't been advertised yet, but people have been going to Burger King and getting Happy Meal toys, and it's been of Bumblebee. Maybe they have a promotion coming up when we get closer to Transformers 1. That movie doesn't come out till September. But yeah, they've been unadvertised. They don't transform. They're just pull back little vehicles. But it's interesting. We'll see how that develops. This has to be the biggest reveal of the week, though. That is the 3-0 Deluxe Optimus Primal. He just looks so good. I mean, just look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. I would absolutely pick this up. And then I'm pretty sure, yep, that is the last of it. So, a much shorter news video than most this week. And uh, to be honest, I did kind of have to get this done as quickly as I could. Just because, hey, we're trying to move out here. But, hey, is there anything you saw that you're just waiting to see? You just can't wait to get out to the stores to try to find yourself? Me, I want to find that swoop really badly. And this Primal definitely has me interested. And then alongside that, guys... We just got to 2,000 subscribers last week, so thank you. Thank each and every one of you for just watching this stuff, commenting, hanging out. Um, we actually have a poll going on for the many toys of. It should still be up until 7 o'clock tonight, so go there and you can vote for who our 2,000 subscriber special is going to be about. But with all of that said, thank you so much for watching, and hey... We'll see what we get up to next time.